Hey guys, welcome to another Sunday night. Glad you could join join in and um, just make sure you like and share. Um, this is a continuation of from last week when Eddie shared his um, Christmas story. Um, let's just, let's start with a prayer because I'm a little nervous. This is like my first time doing it all by myself talking to you. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, and I just want to open my heart and share what needs to be shared with um, whoever is viewing this, God. I know that my story will be um, represented to whoever needs to hear it, and um, you just send whoever needs to hear it your way, God. Um, we thank we are thankful for this Christmas season. We we are thankful that you um, sent your Son. Um, to be born and to die for us. Um, and this year, especially, um, to Christmas season, it's like uh, everybody is more selfless, and this really brings out the good in everyone. Um, and in Jesus' name, amen. Oh, that was great. So, um, the Christmas... The Christmas story that I want to share, I was trying to think of... I was trying to think of something... Um, and like Eddie had said last week, it's kind of like you don't remember, you think about Christmas as really presents, or a lot of people do, especially children. And you, it's so hard to think about a certain time. The, the main thing I think about is like traditions. Every Christmas, especially after my son was born, um, my in-laws, my parents, my grandparents, it's like we all came together. It seems like every year, I don't even know if we even missed a year and we were all together under the same roof. And to me, it's like family coming together. And not only family, but like you could have even friends that come over that they just come together and they talk and they connect because it's all about relationships. I think about like the Lord's Supper, Jesus like invited, you know, everybody. He just wanted to have that meal and break bread and, and be together and and, and talk to one another, and you're selfless because it seems like, unless you're a little kid, it seems like as an adult, you're always thinking about how do we please everybody else? How do we connect with our friends and, and show your families that we love them? And, you know, sometimes we think about buying gifts for somebody, but most of the time it is the time we spend with each other or the telephone call that we make or the and that's time too, but but to let them know that we're thinking about them. Um, and if you don't have family and you don't have uh, a connection, hopefully you'll find that in, in these Sunday nights or our, our um, online fellowship because everyone needs relationships. Um, what else? I can't think of anything else. Oh, okay. So I, there is one thing that I was thinking about, and I've only done this like twice, but thinking about like selflessness. Um, a few years back or even longer than that, uh, my husband was deployed, and then I had, you know, my son, he was a toddler at the time, and we were trying to think of ways that we could give give to others. And I found this 12 Days of Christmas where you print off, these stories, these Christmas stories, Christian stories, um, to end up with at the end about the nativity. But every day they would open something. Like on the first day of Christmas, they would open something and it would kind of like be related to the song of the 12 days of Christmas. If you don't know that, look it up. Um, but we we snuck and we found families that we thought needed to, to be connected. And we just dropped them off and we never said anything to them. And, you know, hearing through the grapevine, you would hear people like whisper about it. And it was just, it was neat. It was, that that is probably one of the most special Christmases that um, I've done. I can't think of anything else. Oh, do you have a story? If you have a story, comment below and let us in on it. Do you have a prayer request? Put that down there as well, because we would love to talk to you about that and pray over your prayers. Um, other than that, I think, I think that's all that we have. Um, let me say a quick prayer and then I'll let you get on your way. Dear Lord, thank you for these people that have come to listen to this today. I hope that it has touched their hearts and, and they'll be 
looking for you for answers, God, because the relationship that we really truly need is with you, God. But the relationships around the Christian relationships, they help us be pointed more to you. So I pray that today, anybody that is listening or anything, they are looking for you for a relationship and they can seek out other Christians in order to guide you their way. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, thank you. We'll see you at the next Sunday night. All right, bye.